Okay then, so Blizzard Entertainment, makers of Overwatch, have tasked me. They've said furs. We want you to make Junkrat's Riptire. And of course, in the previous video, we made a wonderful, operationally correct Riptire. You can take it from your back, you pull the cord, and off it goes. However, the destructive power of this is questionable and not what you'd expect from the Colin First channel. So. <laughs> Right, 600cc sports bike, plenty of power, lovely noise. What are we going to do with it? We're going to strip all the fairing off it, kind of house it in a frame, or the bike in a frame. Take the front wheel off, basically, you don't need the front wheel. And then we're going to get like a massive rip tyre, sit it on top of the bike back wheel, so when the bike's going forwards, it spins the rip tyre up the other way. Then we can deploy it out the back of a frame, bang, straight down the field, boom, into whatever. It can be huge! And we can have it spinning at like God knows what miles per hour. Now that, that is how you do it. Right, let's get it stripped, plastic off. Bosh! <laughs> well, these cables, I think we're gonna label these up. Not big, shut up, Colin, it's just irrelevant. Oh, we're tight! Okay, took all the plastics and fair enough. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick this in a frame. We need to basically steady it, because if we've got like a massive tire up here, spinning round, and this thing starts to like, you know, it's all in balance and goes everywhere, that's a bad thing. So, steel down here, steel down here. Might wanna lose the cans or drop them down. Put some sort of a shield here, so if the, the spikes, which are gonna be on the rip tire, let go, they don't punch hole in the fuel tank. And there we are. Let's do that, and then we'll work out the other bit afterwards. Okay, bike's in the frame, it's nice and solid. We're gonna stick some big legs which come out from the side so it uh, stops it rocking even more. And uh, next job, tidy the electrics up because they're hanging all over the place and then sort the throttle out. Now, I've already took the throttle bits and I've got the cables out. We need to set this up somehow because if there's a chuffing great wheel spinning around there, I do not want to be here hiding, pulling it. So I want to be able to do that remotely. Yeah. Okay, bike frame check, it's all in, it's nice and sturdy. We've made some nice big triangular leggy bits that come off, so the whole thing definitely doesn't tip round once it gets going. Throttle's all fixed, we're gonna have a long cable so we can rev it from a distance so we don't have to be anywhere near it. So the next thing, the most important bit, we need to make some sort of system that we can have our tyre spinning up and then it'd be deployed out the back. And it is a big tyre, it is this big. Yes, now this is gonna do some damage. <laughs> right, so, gonna have some rails come down here that we can slot the axle that goes through the tyre onto, so we can spin, sit on that, not go anywhere. That's gotta be fully adjustable, because I wanna be able to use different shape tyres, different width tyres, and then I think we'll have a system which fires it down the rails, so it hits the floor, already moving, so it doesn't take too much of its energy out, just getting plonked down. So, slidey adjustable, slidey adjustable. <laughs> Got 
some rails for the thingy to roll down. Look nice and solid. Now we're going to give it a little test. We're going to try and set it up for this car tyre. Get it spinning up so we'll lower everything down because it's all on adjustable sliders. Get it down and then we'll probably take this somewhere or do it here or whatever and just, just see what happens. Right, I think we're ready for a test. We've got our adjustable rail system. We've got a little mule wheel here that we can give it a give it a quick demo with. So, bike in first gear, turns it, gets this spinning, you pull the lever, and off it shoots. Okay, I'm happy with this. Let's take it to bits, put it into the van, and take it to the field. Here we are, right. Let's give it a test. <laughs> to go a lot faster right that was first gear i'm thinking fourth gear right here we go top gear sixth gear right here we are sixth gear into tom's dad's car <laughs> Imagine that with a big wheel and spikes! Okay, we've got some serious potential here. So, need to make the bigger one, add spikes to the little one, and then put like the siding covers plate, because they don't look like the rip tire from the game. And then we need to paint everything in the colours and schemes of what they are, because it's kind of like, it's not real life and it's not cartoon. It's kind of somewhere in the middle, isn't it, Overwatch? So, we, you know, we want to kind of mimic that in what these things look like. And then we can let it rip in true Junkrat style! stick a little bit of paint on it and it looks like this so then let's put this on with the little wheels the spikes and the bigger wheels i've got quite the rip tire collection now <laughs> what a collection small with spikes big with no spikes and big with spikes the monster tire is i mean how are we gonna spin that up i don't know it weighs an absolute ton it should destroy anything in its path Right, paint the bike, get it in the field, get it all ready, put stuff in front of it, just let it destroy everything. Right, next video, see you there, y'all. <laughs>